Have you ever been in a situation where you make a small mistake in your argumentation? Maybe a detail and your opponent just focuses on this mistake and tries to use it to bring in the, down your wall demonstration. If yes, you were probably a victim of the fallacy fallacy or, in other words, the argument from fallacy. Let's talk a little about this formal fallacy. So it goes that way. You make a series of arguments, the opponent pick up, picks up a bad one and uses it to dismiss rather sound arguments. We can model it as follows. Argument A for the conclusion C is bad. Therefore, C is false. To say that an argument is fallacious is, among other things, to claim that there's not a sufficiently strong logical connection between the premises and the conclusion. This says nothing about the truth or falsity of the conclusion. The conclusion could as well be true. Let's make an example with genetically modified organisms, in other words, GMOs. If you are interested in the su subject, you may know that there are various types of G uh, GMOs. Here is the additional knowledge that you need to, to, to acquire to understand our example. Some GMOs contain genes that act like insecticides, others confer resistance to herbicides. It means that if you use on a crop a specific herbicide, like Roundup, it will kill the seeds you do not want and spare the GMOs, which overall will increase the yield of the crop. By contrast with GMOs containing insecticides, there is no reason whatsoever to believe that the gene that gives the resistance to herbicides is harmful whatsoever. Also, more often than not, GMOs do not produce fertile seeds. You cannot reuse your own seeds. Unless you want to stop your business, you have to buy new seeds every year to the company that engineered those seeds. It is a huge economic problem because the agriculture of entire countries then depends upon the choice of a GMO company to sell seeds at a reasonable price. Now, let us picture the situation where an activist starts pointing out the disadvantage of using GMOs at a wide scale. So he starts highlighting health issues as well as economic dependency of farmers and sometimes whole nations uh, because there's no fertile seeds left after the harvest. As long as the discussion encompasses all types of GMOs, including the ones that contain insecticides, it is perfectly acceptable to raise both economic and health issues in the conversation. Now, let's imagine the debate shifts to herbicide resistant red GMOs, and the activist still uses both arguments and makes a mistake with regards to health issues. He confuses different types of GMOs and says that it was proven that herbicide resistant GMOs are bad for health. Well, it's wrong. But this is where the fallacy from fallacy kicks in. The pro-GMOs tend to focus on such fallacies and use it to dismiss different arguments altogether. The killer move would consist in showing the results from an experiment on rights, contrasting some health-related indicators between those who ate herbicide-resistant GMOs and those who ate normal seeds, and to highlight the fact that there is no statistical difference between in lethality between the two groups of rats. Of course, in such a process, they focus the debate on a very tiny aspect of the question of the GMO issues, herbicide-resistant plants. It efficiently diverts the audience's attention from economic and geostrategic issues, the environmental uh, impact of the herbicides, for instance, the health issues that could arise from uh, insecticide-bearing GMOs, etc. So they did not um, refute the economic argument, just focused on a bad uh, health-related argument, and then they attacked the wall argumentations of activists. So, so um, some have very, like generally, people who are good with spotting fallacies often commit this, this um, fallacy. They are, and um, like often people who are good at, like skeptics who are good at spotting fallacies are usually pro-GMO or pro-nuclear because they are able to detect fallacies in the discourses of anti-GMOs uh, or anti-nuclear activists. But detecting a fallacy is not enough. 
when you want to completely refute someone's argumentation, you have to refute all of the arguments, not just the invalid ones.